Hi everyone, my name is Anika from Mage to Sew and welcome to today's What Is tutorial where I explain the term FBA, Full Bust Adjustment. So, what is a full bust adjustment and when might you need to do one on a pattern? Well, a full bust adjustment is an adjustment that allows you to add or increase the size of the pattern specifically over the fullest part of the bust. So, when might you need to do one? Well, if your cup size is different to the cup size of the pattern that you're working with, then you may need to do a full bust adjustment. Now, the first thing that I'd like you to do here is to completely forget about cup sizes when it comes to your bra. Bra cup sizes are different to what we're going to be talking about here. For example, bra cup sizes differ between manufacturers and also between countries. And what you will find is that when it comes to bra cup sizes, the cup volume of the bra cup increases as the band size of the bra increases. So, for example, a 30D is the same size as a 32C, 34B and 36A. If you went from a 36A to a 38A, the cup volume of the A cup would be larger. So we're going to work out your cup size in a different way. We're going to measure your full bust, which is the standard bust measurement on a pattern, over the fullest part of the bust, a nice straight measurement, and your high bust. Now this is a measurement above your bust, right high up under the arm, it's a nice and snug measurement. I'm going to show you how to take those now. Begin by taking your full bust measurement. Now this measurement is around the fullest part of the bust, and is probably the measurement that you've taken in the past when a pattern has asked for your bust measurement. Make sure that the tape measure is nice and straight around the body and that you're taking a measurement flat against the body. You don't want to be pulling it too tight here to squash the bust. I would recommend that you take this measurement wearing the underwear that you plan to wear when you have made the garment that you're making. If you always wear a padded bra, take the measurement wearing a padded bra. The next measurement that you're going to take is the high bust measurement. This measurement is right up under the armpit and nice and high in the back as well. You want to make sure that this measurement is really nice and snug against the body. When you record the measurement, please make sure that you position your arms down against your sides, nice and relaxed. Now I'm going to leave you to go and take your high bust and your full bust measurement so that we can compare the two. Now if you are a B cup, which is what most pattern companies draw for, you should have a 2 inch or 5 centimetre difference between your full bust and your high bust. So your full bust should be 2 inches, 5 centimetres larger than your high bust. And the cup size works by increasing by every inch or 2.5 centimetres. So if you were an A cup, you would have a 1 inch or 2.5 centimetre difference between the high bust and the full bust. If you're a B cup, it would be 2 inches or 5 centimetres. A C cup would be 3 inches or 7.5 centimetres. And a D cup would be 4 inches or 10 centimetres. And so on. Now, unless the pattern that you're working with has stated differently, this is how you're going to want to work out the cup size that you should be in the pattern that you're working with. And if you need to do a full bust adjustment. So, as I said, the majority of patterns draft for a B cup. However, some independent pattern companies do draft for a C cup, and you'll also find some plus size pattern companies draft for larger cups as well. Now you're going to need to find out what cup size you are by taking these measurements, and then you're going to need to compare this back to the pattern that you're working with. Now, you will find that some pattern companies actually draft for different cup sizes within the same pattern, which is great news because you'll be able to choose the cup size that you are. Now, if you've already gone ahead and you've made a sample garment or the real garment, what are the issues that you might have with that garment that means that you need a full bust adjustment? Let's take a look at some. The first one is that the top of the garment, so the shoulder, the neckline, the chest, is too large but the bust fits you perfectly. In this case, you will probably need a full bust adjustment. The reason the top part of the garment is too large is because you're having to choose your pattern size based on your full bust measurement. Your bust measurement is probably large because of the volume in your cup. However, the rest of you 
isn't that size. And therefore what you would do with a full bust adjustment is you would choose the size of the pattern based on your high bust measurement. This should then allow the pattern to fit through the shoulder, the neckline and the chest, and you would do a full bust adjustment to get the pattern to fit your bust area. Other issues that you might find is that the garment might just be tight over the bust area. It might look like it's squashing your bust, it might also feel like it's squashing your bust. You may get drag lines in between the two busts. You may get drag lines from the bust down into the side seam, where the fabric is being pulled over the fullest part of your bust. You may have a gaping neckline, a gaping armhole, a shoulder that's too large. All of these reasons could mean that you need a full bust adjustment. I can't promise that a full bust adjustment will fix your individual fitting issues, and that it's the only adjustment that you need to do, but it's something that you should look into. You should take the measurements of your full bust and your high bust and compare the two. If you have a cup size that is larger than what the pattern is drafted for, you may need to do a full bust adjustment to correct your fitting issues. When we do a full bust adjustment, we're going to be adding fabric right into the center of the bust, adding width and also height, so that there is enough fabric to fit over the fuller cup size. So you've now got all this incredible information. You know what cup size you are, you know what to look for in garments to see if you need a full bust adjustment, but what do you do with it all? Well, once you know if you need a full bust adjustment, you're going to be able to work with the pattern slightly differently. What you will do the majority of the time is that you're going to want to choose your pattern size based on your high bust measurement. What this will allow you to do is to fit the top part of the body the shoulders, the chest, perfectly. You will then increase simply the bust area to work with your fuller bust. This should enable you to achieve a much better fit throughout the garment. Now I'm going to be sharing a variety of full bust adjustment tutorials over the coming weeks. I'm going to have a full bust adjustment for a two darted pattern, no darts, princess seams and so on. If you've got any questions at all, please let me know as always and I hope you will join me tomorrow for my tutorial on the first full bust adjustment example. Thank you for watching and see you soon.